to today's video. We're going to talk about doing a 180 on the fence. Now you can make this, uh, it's basically a half a circle. What you're going to do is you're going to stop your horse, put your butt into the fence, back up, put your hand up in the opposite direction, and walk towards the horse and make them do a 180. So you're going to use your fence as a stopping point. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start out without a, uh, any kind of a whip, just with my, all my gear on and my lunge line. First of all, you've got to get a circle going. And if you have a horse that's being pushy, kind of getting in your space, it's a good way to get him started. You might need to walk up there and just let him get him going. Come on, come on. He's a little lazy. So I'm keeping my hand towards his head, pushing him into the fence. Whoa. Put my butt into the fence, lean down, and stand back up. Whoa. He turns towards me, stand back up. Whoa. Now, you can add a side pass to it for a level of difficulty, but doing a basic 180 does a lot of things that get your horse listening to you let your horse change direction easy and if you get one that's being a little bit pushy it definitely helps you when they're get some kind of uh, respecting you a whole lot better so now that I've given the demo Ashley's gonna give it a go because Joy's being a little pooty today Whoa. there you go good <laughs> No problem. Okay, so here she goes. She's getting her around, going around in a circle. <laughs> Girl, come on, keep going. Now, if you move your whip or your uh, your hand with the rein, <laughs> like go forward with it instead of backwards. Yeah. It'll help you out quite a bit. Let's try again, honey. You have to position your body towards the back of the saddle. Okay. So point your belly button towards the back of your saddle. Right. <laughs> and she's taking forward. advantage of you, and plus you have to walk kind of funky in chaps. So that's always right fun. Here. Yeah, so you're in front of her. That's what she keeps doing. That's why she keeps doing it. Oh. So you actually have to get behind her to drive her forward. <laughs> yeah. Release. Now, yeah. now release. Just try to release and be nice and easy until she calms down. And don't let her pull you. There you go. That was a nice stop. Come on. There you go. <laughs> okay, so bend down, switch hands. There you go. And we're just going to keep going with this until she makes a nice round circle. Yeah, you may have to reach up there and give her a little tap. Uh, but move it up and down first. Move the, no, move the whip up and down first so she sees it. It's like, come on. And okay, now. <laughs> well, all right. That horse really doesn't care. <laughs> she really doesn't. So I'm going to walk real close up to the fence, up to the fence. I'm going to walk her into the fence with my body. Whoa. Bend down. Change of direction. Wow, she had a good pull. Whoa. Change of direction. Wow. She is pulling like crazy. Whoa. Change of direction. Whoa. Wow, you want to walk in that fence. There we go. So thank you very much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed it, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And to check out more, look at the playlist.